What does Mary had a little lamb and President Lincoln have to do with Thanksgiving? I'll tell you why coming up, plus I'll share with you some interesting facts and trivia from one of our most treasured holidays. Historians believe that the first Thanksgiving took place in 1621. Today we celebrate Thanksgiving with a variety of food that include turkey and pumpkin pie. <laughs> According to the National Turkey Federation, Americans consume approximately 87 million turkeys per year. Approximately 46 million for Thanksgiving, 22 million for Christmas, and 19 million turkeys for Easter. Turkey was not even on the menu for the first Thanksgiving. Accounts of the first Thanksgiving meal include what was available locally at the time. That would be duck and deer and ham and lobster. Did you ever wonder why Native Americans are referred to as Indians? It turns out that Christopher Columbus was completely lost when he landed on an island in the Antilles. He thought he was in the Indian Ocean so he referred to the native people as Indians. For many years, the author of Mary Had a Little Lamb, Sarah Josephina Hale, had been writing articles in newspapers and magazines suggesting that the country have a national holiday to celebrate Thanksgiving. On September 28, 1863, she sent a letter directly to President Lincoln imploring him to create a national holiday of Thanksgiving. Exactly five days later, on October 3rd, 1863, President Abraham Lincoln declared in an official proclamation that the last Thursday of November would henceforth be known as our official Thanksgiving holiday. Of course, it was later changed to the third Thursday in November. Don't stop now, folks. Click on one of the videos on your screen to fatten your brain up even more.